Straight on to business news now for you then. In its battle against soaring inflation, the Federal Reserve has once again lifted its benchmark interest rate. Our business editor, Sean Pellegrin, has got more for us on it, Sean. That's right, uh, Stuart. That's the third big increase in a row from what is in effect uh, the American Central Bank. Um, at the uh, conclusion of a two-day meeting, the Fed uh, increased its rate by 0.75 percentage points. And this means the benchmark interest rate now stands at 3.25%. That federal funds rate has been brought up sharply since the beginning of the year, as you can see here, uh, starting in 2022 with three big increases until 3.25% as announced on Wednesday. This will make the cost of borrowing money more expensive, whether it's credit card debt, mortgages, or even financing for businesses. The objective here is to rein in the rise in prices by reducing demand for money, the downside is a risk of seeing the economy slow down too much, but that's a risk Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, is willing to take. My colleagues and I are acutely aware that high inflation imposes significant hardship as it erodes purchasing power, especially for those least able to meet the higher costs of essentials, like food, housing, and transportation. We are highly attentive to the risks that high inflation poses to both sides of our mandate, and we are strongly committed to returning inflation to our 2% objective. Reducing inflation is likely to require a sustained period of below-trend growth, and there will very likely be some softening of labor market conditions. Restoring price stability is essential to, to set the stage for achieving maximum employment and stable prices over the longer run. We will keep at it until we're confident the job is done. And while we're seeing monetary tightening in the U.S., the Bank of Japan is pushing through with its ultra-loose monetary policy. This Thursday, the central bank said it was keeping its overnight interest rate at minus 0.1 percent and will continue its purchase of 10-year bonds. Consumer prices in Japan in August rose at their fastest pace in eight years at 2.8 percent. But the Bank of Japan maintains that demand in the economy continues to be weak. The announcement sent the yen tumbling against the dollar at 24-year lows, although it quickly recovered leading to speculation there may have been an intervention by authorities. And that decision at the Fed having repercussions on currency markets uh, everywhere. For instance, on the South Korean won, the currency broke the psychologically important barrier uh, of 1,400 won to the dollar, the first time since the global financial crisis in 2008. This means more won is needed in order to borrow on international financial markets, for instance, or to buy imported goods to countries. Finance Minister vowed to, make, to take measures to ease the pressure on the currency. Now let's take a look at how the markets are faring at the moment. Uh, in Europe, those main indices all down at the open on the back of that decision by the Fed. As you can see, uh, the FTSE in London down by almost a percent, the Paris CAC down by a, a, a percent and two thirds. Uh, and the same goes around uh, for, 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 the, the, for the DAX in Frankfurt. Um, same goes for Asian indices as well. Investors worried about the global economic outlook on the back of that decision. Uh, let's take a listen to Francis Lun from Geosecurities in Hong Kong. I think the markets try to find what, which, which is the bottom. Nobody knows yet because really the market is not ruled by any financial fundamentals, rather it's ruled by... Uh, external factors like the war in Ukraine. Now, there was talk of quiet quitting in recent months, but here's a form of quiet firing. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that Facebook parent group Meta is looking to reduce costs by at least 10% in the coming months. And one way of doing that is reorganizing departments, then telling affected workers that they only have a month to find a new position within the group. And while it used to be that only employees deemed undesirable couldn't find new work at Meta, increasingly, Workers with strong performance are being forced to leave. This is happening as the social media empire is confronted with slowing growth and increased competition. And finally, some interesting findings out of the U.S. on what kind of cars get stolen more. A nonprofit, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, says it's nearly twice as common for Hyundai and Kia vehicles from 2015 through 2019 to be carjacked. It turns out Many of those cars from that period don't have electronic immobilizers, which prevent people from breaking in and bypassing the ignition, which is actually quite standard for other cars from that same period. Both car makers said their vehicles were being targeted in a coordinated effort by social media users and have added the immobilizers on their models 
from 2021 onwards, Stuart. Yeah, quick fix there for those cars. Thank you very much, Charles Pellegrin with the business on France 24.